important step is to have a good foundation and a good concealer. Okay, so the first step, of course, is to make sure your face is super moisturized. I do not prime my face, I just over moisturize. Zing, Glam Glow, Glow Starter Moisturizer. I'm just gonna work that in. Now that you're all moisturized, you can see my deep set eyes. It's a little bit hollow right here, so we are gonna bring that out and bring light to that area. Okay, so the first step that you wanna do is have a nice full coverage foundation. I right now am obsessed with this new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, so I'm gonna pretty much put this all over my face. I am color Y503. You could use whatever foundation of your choice, but it is best if it is a full coverage. Using my Real Technique sponge, I'm just gonna blend everything out. And already you can kind of see that it's not as deep set looking as it was before, but that is not all we're gonna do. So I'm gonna contour my face really quick. Okay, so now that I'm contoured, the next step is also to have a really good full coverage concealer. Today I'm gonna be using Too Faced Born This Way, but there's other great full coverage concealers like the Milani Erase and Correct, I believe is the name, that's also a really good full coverage drugstore concealer. So basically, I'm the color Butterscotch in this concealer, so I'm just gonna take this and put it in a triangle formation. Now, using my Real Technique, I'm just gonna blend this out. And you wanna come around your nose, making sure that you get in that crevice area. And then I just kinda drag it into my contour. That's why I contour before concealer so that it's not this harsh line right here. Okay, so it'll look something like this after. I bring it around my nose so there's no harsh lines of demarcation. Drag it down into the contour. Now, as you can see, it's slightly still a little bit hollow. So the next step that I do is I just take the same concealer and I just apply it down here on both sides. And then if I see any shadow within the, the hollow part, I'll just add some right there. And when you blend out, you just wanna focus on this bottom portion of your face. And whatever's left, you could drag up, or pat up, not drag. So now I'm just gonna take some Banana Banai Powder and set under my eyes. Thing is, you don't need a lot, you just need enough just to set the concealer. I don't do baking because I think that makes your under eyes look a little bit drier than it needs to. So I just put enough just to set the creases and set the concealer, and that's it. Then sometimes I might add just a little bit more in this section because again, you want light to bounce back in this section so that you don't see it's hollow. And then for whatever powder is left over, I just take a dense brush like this and just pat down to set any loose powder that may be on my face. Bags be gone, okay? Do you see the difference? It is a big difference. Okay, and as you can see, my hollow eyes are gone, okay? So that is how I conceal and correct my deep set eyes. So I hope this helps you guys, and I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later. Like usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Lindy Elaine, Snapchat at Jamaican Beauty. Deuces. <laughs>